Welcome to the introduction of the joy of sawmilling. Building your own sawmill is a rewarding project that gives you the freedom to process your own lumber. Imagine the satisfaction of transforming raw logs into beautiful usable boards. With a homemade sawmill, you can control the dimensions of your lumber, ensuring it perfectly suits your needs. Whether you're a seasoned woodworker or a passionate DIY enthusiast, building a sawmill opens up a world of possibilities. This guide will walk you through the process of constructing a robust and efficient sawmill. We'll focus on simplicity in design, making it accessible even for those without extensive engineering experience. Don't be intimidated by the initial complexities as we'll break down each step into manageable tasks. With clear instructions and illustrative 3D PDFs, you'll be able to visualize every component and assembly from all angles. Our sawmill design is specifically tailored to handle even the hardest of woods, such as mesquite. Known for its durability and beautiful grain, mesquite presents a challenge for many sawmills, but our design is up to the task. We'll delve into the specifics of choosing the right saw blade and engine power to ensure you can confidently tackle any wood species. Get ready to embark on this exciting journey of creating your own sawmill. With careful planning, attention to detail, and the help of this guide, you'll be well on your way to experiencing the joy of sawmilling. Let's dive into getting started. Gathering your materials. Before we dive into construction, let's gather the necessary materials. The beauty of this sawmill design lies in its use of readily available materials, many of which you might already have on hand. Start by taking inventory of your existing resources including steel beams, angle iron, bolts, nuts, and welding supplies. For the sawmill's frame, we'll be using sturdy steel beams, ensuring a solid foundation for the entire structure. Angle iron will be used for bracing and support, adding to the overall stability of the sawmill. The engine and drive system will require specific components, such as a gasoline engine, pulleys, belts, and bearings. Choosing the right saw blade is crucial for efficient cutting. Carbide tip blades are recommended for their durability and ability to handle hardwoods. When selecting a blade, consider the diameter, tooth count, and kerf width of the cut. A larger diameter blade can handle thicker logs, while a higher tooth count results in a smoother cut. Once you have a comprehensive list of materials, source them from your local hardware store or metal supplier. Ensure you have all the necessary tools, including a welder, grinder, drill, and measuring tape. With your materials and tools assembled, you're ready to begin building the foundation of your sawmill. Now, Let's talk about the foundation and frame the backbone of your sawmill. The foundation and frame form the backbone of your sawmill, providing the necessary stability and support for the entire the structure. In we'll begin by constructing a level base the using the concrete the blocks or poured concrete, ensuring a solid the footing for the frame. The dimensions of the base will depend on the planned size of your sawmill, allowing for ample space for log handling and maneuvering. Using steel beams, we'll assemble a rectangular frame atop the concrete base. The frame will consist of two long beams running parallel to each other, connected by shorter cross beams at regular intervals. These cross beams will provide additional support and prevent the frame from twisting or warping under stress. Precise measurements and careful alignment are crucial during frame construction. Ensure the beams are perfectly square and level. Using a carpenter's square and level to verify accuracy, weld the beams securely at all joints, creating a strong and rigid frame capable of withstanding the forces generated during sawmilling. Once the frame is complete, reinforce it with angle iron bracing. These diagonal braces will further enhance the frame's stability, preventing any lateral movement or swaying during operation. With a solid foundation and robust frame in place, you're ready to move on to the heart of the sawmill, the engine and drive system. Section 4. The Heart of the Matter Engine and Drive System The engine and drive system are the heart of your sawmill, providing the power and motion necessary to drive the saw blade through the log. A gasoline engine is a reliable and readily available power source for this application. Choose an engine with sufficient horsepower to handle the demands of cutting hardwoods like mesquite. The engine's power is transmitted to the saw blade through a system of pulleys and belts. A large drive pulley is mounted on the engine's crankshaft, connected by a belt to a smaller pulley on the saw blade arbor. This pulley system allows for speed reduction, ensuring the saw blade rotates at an optimal cutting speed. Bearings play a crucial role in ensuring smooth and efficient operation of the drive system. Properly installed bearings reduce friction 
and support the rotating shafts, preventing wear and tear on the engine, and saw blade assembly. Use high-quality bearings designed for heavy-duty applications to ensure longevity and reliability. Thoroughly test the engine and drive system before moving on to the next stage. Ensure the pulleys are properly aligned, the belts are tensioned correctly, and the bearings are lubricated. A well-functioning drive system is essential for efficient sawmilling and will prevent unnecessary strain on the engine and other components. Section 5. Guide Rails and Carriage Ensuring Smooth Operation The guide rails and carriage are essential components that ensure smooth and precise movement of the saw blade along the log. The guide rails, typically made of sturdy steel bars, are mounted parallel to the frame, providing a track for the carriage to slide along. The carriage, a robust metal platform, houses the saw blade assembly and is responsible for its linear movement. It rides along the guide rails, driven by a chain and sprocket system powered by the engine. This chain drive ensures positive engagement and prevents slippage, allowing for accurate control of the saw blade's position. Guide rollers, mounted on the carriage, engage with the guide rails, minimizing friction and ensuring smooth movement. These rollers are crucial for maintaining stability and preventing any wobbling or vibration during cutting. The carriage's design should allow for easy adjustment of the cutting depth, enabling you to control the thickness of the lumber being produced. Precision and stability are paramount in the construction of the guide rails and carriage. Ensure the rails are perfectly parallel and securely mounted to the frame. The carriage should move smoothly along the rails without any binding or resistance. A well-constructed guide system is key to achieving accurate and consistent cuts throughout the sawmilling process.